I wanted to share with you my morning practice. So it doesn't have to be a big grand production, your morning practice. You just need to move. So this morning, while my son was waiting for his ride to school, washing out this window, I just got on the floor and did a little practice. I could talk with him. I tried to get him to do it with me, but he was too interested in his next activity of going to school. So it's just a little bit of movement. So I'll show you what I did. And I was all snuggled up in my you know, heavy sweater with my socks on and just come to the floor. Uh, the first thing I typically do is come into child's pose. just to ease any tension out of the back hips and knees and then lower down, press up. And this motion is typically very stiff for me in the morning. So I might have some protective muscle contraction through my glutes. And then I come back to child's pose. Each time I come to child's pose, I can get a little bit deeper into the back and into the hip. And then lower down again. So that's a little bit of a push up or, you know, lowering down is like a push up. And now this, now with the light being on, I can recognize that we still have some pine needles from our Christmas tree on the floor. And sit back into child's pose again. I like to rock back and forth just a little bit, easing into child's pose. And then lowering down again. Each time I come to this press up position. I'm trying to get a little more motion into my hips and my knees, but I'm also just feeling where do I feel the stiffness this morning? What do I need to work on? And so coming to all fours, I might do a few cat cows. I also like to sit back into hero's pose and just really stretch into my knees into my hips, into my ankles. My hips tend to be really tight, so I'll sit off to the side and stretch, maybe do a little rotation. Come to the other side. Ease into those hips and the hip rotation. Rotate. I'm just doing whatever feels good. Go back and forth on those hips. There's a pine needle. Breathing, taking in the day. While I was standing here with my son this morning, the, the sun hadn't even come up, but it was, you know, twilight. It was a little, I guess it's dawn. So a little bit of light was coming onto the horizon. So I just get to check in with him as he's getting ready to leave for the day. So just finding that motion into my hips and into my knees, sitting into the ankles, maybe stretching the toes and the feet a little bit, just sitting deeply. And when I was doing the press up, I could feel that the front of my hips were really tight. So this is sometimes why I like to wear socks. You just take a foot forward because it slides on the floor and that way you can position it to wherever you want and then deeply bend into that knee, really opening up the hip on this side. If you can't come down all the way onto your hands, you can make fists or you can have your blocks nearby to support yourself. Having just a few props around helps, especially in the morning, maybe when you're a little bit stiffer. So again, the sock helps me easily slide back and then slide the other leg forward and 
just lengthen into that hip. So I'm not really trying to stretch. I'm just trying to create movement. Movement that I know I had yesterday at the end of the day that after sleeping, I find myself a little bit stiff. And so that's it. Just a little movement practice to get me going. I've been sitting at the computer and now I feel like I need to get my arms behind me a little bit. I just wanted to show you that you just need to tune in to your body. Tune in and do whatever it is you feel like you need to do. And what was that? 10 minutes, if that, to integrate those types of movements, whether you're on the floor or in a chair, you know, if you're at work, you can integrate some movement into your day so that you don't get that stiffness. Get ahead of the pain, like get moving, get rid of some of that stiffness before you end up with pain towards the end of the day. Pay really careful attention to what your body's telling you to do. So that's, that was my morning practice this morning. Tomorrow it might be different depending on how I feel. Namaste.